Hey there folks, my name is Lee. Since building our mobile super dust collector, we've had some good questions coming in. So I wanted to take this time and answer those as best I could. So the first one we'll answer is, is that cyclone large enough for your fan? Our cyclone being here and our fan or impeller being here. This cyclone as advertised is rated for half up to a three horsepower motor or impeller or fan or whatever you want to call it. What we're using up here is a Harbor Freight two horsepower unit fan. So this is a great match. Match made in heaven. Yes. Next question. How many horsepower is your fan? Look at that. I already answered that. Two horsepower. Okay. Is it still convenient to change the air filter canister. All right, good question. So here is our air filter canister. Is it convenient to change it? My answer to that is yes, and I'll go ahead and demonstrate that for us. To change this, which you shouldn't have to, I double checked on the WIN website, and they say their WIN filters for these types of applications should be a lifetime filter for you, provided that it is not abused or improperly cared for. Should last years and years. The only maintenance it requires would be to remove the dust on the inside occasionally. To do that, you would just knock on the outside or hit it with compressed air from the outside. I've never been a fan of hitting air filters with compressed air. Not full shot pressure, not 90 PSI anyhow. I would probably consider dusting this filter from the outside in. Because remember, the dirt's on the inside, and we don't want to push it into the pleats deeper. We want to hit the filter out here. If we're going to dust it off, I would suggest like 40 PSI max. These filters, whether it be your car, truck, tractor, whatever, blowing really high pressure through them, can actually damage the filter media and be cause for larger particles to get through the filter media because it was damaged with high pressure air. So as that's not the rule, that's just my thoughts. I would probably use medium pressure air like 40 PSI. So to remove this, to inspect it, which more likely you'll be inspecting it or cleaning it as opposed to replacing it, which you don't want to replace it anyways because it's pretty expensive. This is how we clean it and inspect it. This five gallon bucket on screws from the bottom. There shouldn't be much dust in there. If there's a lot in there, either you haven't cleaned it in like a year or you got a leak over here. If there's a big gaping leak here, it can render this cyclone ineffective because you'll have air rushing in here up through the cyclone into the impeller. You don't want that. You don't want any air coming from below the cyclone up into the cyclone. You want a good seal here. You want all your air to come in at the cy cyclone inlet and at the cyclone inlet only. That way when your particulate makes it into the cyclone system, there'll be a pressure drop inside of here and the debris will drop down into the receptacle. If there's a leak here and air is rushing in from below up through, it'll decrease the efficiency of your cyclone or if it's bad enough, it'll completely render it useless. So back to our air filter. This is just a clean out. Now this is just as easy to remove, we're just going to unthread it. Of course it's to the bucket. Freaking thing. That makes a good spot to set it anyway. And that's it. So it's that easy to remove this from the cabinet. What allows us to attach this to the cabinet, if you didn't see the previous build video, 
Because this is a five gallon bucket threaded lid. Sometimes they're called a gamma seal lid. And these are modified hose clamps. It's just a hose clamp with the end snipped off. And right where they're cut, they're folded over. And so that clamps one part on this gamma seal lid and one part into the air filter. There's six of them. One, two, three, four, five, six. And if you ever do have to change this filter for some reason, it could have got water damage or whatever happened to it. All you have to do is undo these clamps, take this bucket lid, put it on your new filter, thread it back on your cabinet and you're back in action. And looking at this, there's very, very minimal dust in there. So we know our cyclone is working. It's catching all that debris before it makes it this far to the filter. That's what we want. So it's working good. All right. Now we'll put our filter canister back on the cabinet. And we'll put our clean out bucket back on the filter. Okay. That's a filter canister cleaning and inspection. Our next question is, are the latch clamps enough to keep the lid of the gray container secure? Fair question. All right. Here's our latch clamps. There's one here. And there's one just like it. Opposed to it on the other side. So far, yes, they have been adequate in keeping the lid to the gray container secure. Not only that, but when this system is running, uh, there's actually suction that, I mean, it further increases the, the hold down of this lid to the grade container. It, I mean, essentially is, once it's running, you could undo these clamps and the seal would remain just from the suction. So, no concerns there. This is how they work. Just like that. And yeah, just um, two of them, they do what they need to do. Okay, our next question is, is there any collapse or imploding of the gray container from the suction when the system is on? That's a no. There is no collapse or implosion of this great, great container when the system is running. Uh, that's been nice and rigid and working well. The next thing I need to address is I did have to make a revision to this gray container seal between the gray container and the lid since making the original build video. And I'll show you what happened with that and I'll show you how I fixed it. So another demonstration of even emptying this, this would be a good time to show a demonstration of emptying this out as well as taking this apart and inspecting it and doing maintenance as well as my repair here. I'll go ahead and open this up and you get to see me do that and I will show and explain the little revision we did here to make this better. This is a 10 millimeter socket on a quarter inch drive handle. Now this is a 10 millimeter socket. You gotta watch this thing like a hawk because you know what happens to 10 millimeter sockets. 
they run away from you. We'll just undo our six inch hose clamp here. And our five inch hose clamp here. We're all freed up. Pops right off. That comes right off the top. We'll undo our lid clamps. We'll take this off and let's have a look at it. Okay. Here's the bottom of our cyclone and our great container lid here. As you can see, our seal is applied to the bottom of our lid. Previously, I had applied the seal to the top of this gray container. I have removed the seal from the top of the gray container. Uh, we could it ended up slipping out of place. It did not bond well enough. Whatever adhesive was on that original rubber seal did not bond well enough to this plastic container. It slid out of place under the pressure of the lid. The fix to that is applying this seal, which is camper mounting tape, to the bottom of our lid. And that gives it a really good solid flat backing. There's, there's more seal material there. Uh, to hold on to a good flat surface here as opposed to that rounded edge of the gray container. And so far this is working very well. So I don't think we'll have any trouble out of that. Okay. Now we'll put it back together. Just line up our two latches, center the lid, latch the back, feel around, make sure the lid's good and centered, latch the back, and we'll latch the front, and off secure. I'll go ahead and put our hoses back on here. When these hoses are brand new, they're pretty tough to install because they're all clean and brand new and a little sticky. So once they're used and broken in and a little bit dusty, they are a lot easier to work with. All right, there's our six inch hose to our impeller. We've got that reconnected to our cyclone outlet. Now we'll put our five inch hose. Here's our five inch dust collection hose. Put that back on the, put that back on our cyclone inlet. Just like this. Make sure it's on evenly all the way around, fully installed on there. I'm kind of holding the weight off of it so it sits correctly while I tighten it up. And just like that we're back in action. Okay. Those are all of our Questions for now, as more come in, I will continue to answer those in the comments section. And if we need to make another video, we'll go ahead and do that. And that's it for now. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.